freak accident riding a four-wheeler. My bike apparently had a broken strut. I didn't, wasn't aware of it. I was driving down this gravel driveway and I left front tire hit a tuft of grass and it jerked the handlebars out of my hands. I flipped onto my left side and instead of putting my feet together, I crisscrossed them and shattered my whole entire tib tib. So Jamie had a compound tibia fracture, which meant the bone had come through the skin. And she was treated at an outside institution with a contemporary uh, surgical technique. I had a rod, screws, nails, clamps, all of the above in there. I was in the hospital for about three days. They sent me home. Five years later go by and just having a normal walk in the yard and I felt one of those clamps break. That entire five years I was in excruciating pain every day. I went to a local orthopedic doctor that next day. He did an immediate x-ray and he said, you're not leaving here without a referral to SLU. And that's how Dr. Watson came into play. So I was dealing with a leg that the bone was infected and the bone wasn't healed and we had a situation in order to get rid of the infection, we had to basically take out, much like you take out a tumor, we had to take out a fair amount of infected bone that wasn't healthy. When you remove bone, you have to replace the bone and kind of standard techniques up until a number of years ago were bone grafts. You would harvest bone from the pelvis or some other area to another operation, replace the bone, stabilize the bone, hope that the bone healed. A lot of times it can be two or three bone grafts, four or five operations in total. And that was kind of the historical background for this type of a, of a problem. About 20 years ago, people started doing external fixators, devices on the outside of the leg. With these external devices, you could actually move bone down inside the leg to bridge these defects. It's a great technique and I started doing that. I actually went to Russia to learn that in 1989. <clears throat> Great technique, but the problem is you have this thing on the outside of your leg, which you know takes a lot of care and it's cumbersome. And as you turn the device, it actually, like a cheese cutter, these little wires cut through the skin and move the bone down. So it does work very nicely. It's just that you know technology moves ahead. And so I was fortunate to be on a design team that came up with this uh, concept of. Uh, moving bone with a rod that goes inside the leg. So same idea, it moves a segment of bone across the defect, but you don't have to have a, de a device on the outside of your leg. It, it runs by a magnet. As I was operating this machine, it was, I didn't feel anything. You know, I heard it. I mean, it was very loud. When they showed me how to use it, they said, you know, keep your cell phones away. This is a big, large magnet. I placed it on my leg three, three times a day and it spun this magnet and it helped grow my bone. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. It was very, very amazing to watch because I had doctor's appointments every two weeks. And then uh, once the bone docked, once the segment crossed, the defect site, you squeeze it together and eventually it heals and the bone up above also fills in. We'll show you some pictures where the bone looks just like it's normal bone. Pretty amazing to watch those x-rays every two weeks, you know, to see how it was just bringing it down and how the bone on the top was filling in and it was actually a pretty beautiful thing. 